Hello everyone and welcome back to another goddamn gorgeous video. Damn son. Oh my goodness. God. All right fellas, this is I know a pretty random video cuz it just pops out of nowhere on my channel right now. So if you subscribed, you're probably a little confused why I'm bumping this video out now. But um that's because we see a lot of people having issues with BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King. So I thought, why not make a tutorial on how to fix every single uh, Rise of the Witch King BFME 2 crash? Because so many people have issues and it can really be annoying to try and figure out what the issue is. But if you have any problems with your game right now, don't you worry, I most likely have a fix for you right here because I'll show you the most common fixes or the most or the fixes for the most common errors for uh, the games. Um, I just want to say, however, that most of these errors are mostly for for Rise of the Witch King. They, they mostly happen for Rise of the Witch King, so there's not so much with BFME 2, but of course there is a couple, so don't you worry about that. Um, so yeah, um, and before uh, I, I start out with the, the tutorial or finally uh, getting on to the fixes, I just want to mention that if you check the description right now, you will be able to see a list, uh, the timestamps for every single fix. So if you're not bothered to watch the whole video, just click on one of the timestamps and you will be directed right away to the uh, fix for that specific error that you have. So, <coughs> sorry, let's uh, let's start with the uh, first uh, error, which is really common, and that is the CD-ROM error. Ed 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 error. <laughs> the CD-ROM error. And this one happens to a lot of people, and a lot of people are really struggling with uh, fixing this, but it's actually pretty simple. So, the first thing I want you to do, you're probably, okay, you're probably trying to start Rise of the Witch King, but it just says, uh, CD-ROM, and this goes for BFME 2 as well. Um, you cannot start the game because uh, you don't have the correct CD-ROM inserted into your computer. So it's pretty simple. Um, most of you have probably, or not most of you, but some of you have probably followed my guide on how to install the games. And if you remember, you actually have to mount some images. The problem is that once you restart the computer, uh, your computer will actually unmount these images. And that's why you're getting this error most likely. So what I want you to do is to find the uh, CD images for your game and um, I now have the images for Rise of the Witch King and BFME 2 right here. So uh, let's uh, take Rise of the Witch King for instance. You see we have this file here, Rise of the Witch King, Maxi the Smoking Man MDS. It's important that you uh, uh, use the MDS file. So what I want you to do is to right click on it, select drive letter and mount. And then you see this option right here, keep drive after restart. If you select that, press OK, you can already see it pops up with the drive and then it will stay mounted on your computer for the rest of your life or for the rest of the life of your computer, you know. So that was actually the problem. So now your game should be working. So if you try to start Rise of the Witch King, uh, try to see if it works. And the same goes for BFME 2. Select the MDS file, select drive letter and mount and keep drive after restart. And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but if you don't have these CD images, uh, links are in the description, so you could just go ahead and download them right away. Now, if that is not the problem, uh, and it's still giving you the error, there's a couple other things you can do. So, what I want you to do, if you have the error with uh, Rise of the Witch King, the same goes for BFME 2. I'll just show you how to do this on Rise of the Witch King. It works the exact same way, so just follow me. So if you right click on the Rise of the Witch King or the BFME 2 desktop shortcut, go to Properties, Compatibility, and then you should have all of these settings. One thing I want you to try is to run this pro program in compatibility mode for 
for instance, Windows XP. You can just try all of these and if it still doesn't work, it's okay. Because most of the time, it's actually because the, uh, the game is uh, running as an administrator. And we don't want that. So if you see that this box right here, run this program as an administrator, is checked, uncheck it, apply, okay, and boom, it should be working. It really should work now. If, however, it is not uh, uh, checked, try to check uh, this one, apply, okay, and then test it out. So uh, it should work both ways. It really all depends on which profile on your computer you installed the game to. And that is why this is important. So just make sure to uncheck it or check it if, uh, if it is unchecked already, if that makes sense. So that I think was all for the uh, uh, CD-ROM error. So let's continue to the next error, which is really common amongst the people of Middle Earth. No, well, <laughs> we're not really from Middle Earth, but we love Middle Earth, so why not? Anyway, the next error is the Battle for Middle Earth 2 has stopped working. And this error is so annoying. It's really annoying and, and, and it can be a pain in the ass to fix this. But don't you worry, I have a couple fixes for this. So, the first thing we see that a lot of people forget is that you need the options I and I and put it into the Rise of the Witch King folder in App Data or BFME2 if that's the case. So, what I want you to do is to go to the Windows search bar right here down in the bottom left, type percent app data percent oops percent there you go and then press enter and boom this window should pop up you should have a folder here which says my the lord of the rings rise of the witch king and if you click on that you may not have any of these files but that's just because i have been playing the game quite a lot so i do have some more files than you but you should have a options and I well maybe you don't but if you do not have this file right here well then that is what is causing the uh, crash uh, error for you so there is a download link in the description just download the uh, the options and I file it's down in the description and then just uh, put it right here in this folder if it's for rise of the witch king if it's not for rise of the witch king there should be a bfme2 folder right above this one and then you just place it in that one the file works for both games and yeah once you have it placed in your folder just press uh, x and then try to start the game and it should be working if not there is another fix and don't you worry then that is actually not the problem we see that a lot of people, for instance, have a laptop and it has a built-in graphics card. That could, for instance, be Intel. And that is the problem because uh, the game can most likely not run, uh, run it with this GPU, probably because it's too weak. So, um, and you most likely have another GPU on your computer, for instance, I know a lot of people have NVIDIA, so what you can do is to right click on the desktop shortcut, go to, well, apparently it's not here right now. What the hell is this? Uh, okay, no, no, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, it's right. Oh, sorry, it's just me. So, once you right click on the file, you should see an option somewhere around here, which uh, says uh, run this program vi with the nvidia gpu if you see this option click on that and the game should work perfect if it's still not working try to right click on the desktop shortcut go to the nvidia control panel and then now i have to think i don't know if i can remember this exactly uh i'll have to okay wait a minute where is it where is it wait i don't remember which which one <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know this is not so professional. Oh, I think that's... Is it this one? Yeah. Uh, manage 3D settings. So you go to manage 3D settings, program settings, find the game on here, select it, and then you should actually be good to go. If that, however, also doesn't work, it's not really... 
I don't know, it probably didn't really uh, enable the graphics card. So what, what you can do, and this is probably the easiest thing to do, this works every single time, is if you go to the Windows search bar, type device manager, you see it pops up right here. Click on that one, and then you should have this window right here. So, in this window, you will see a display adapters. If you click on the little arrow, uh, arrow, not arrow, arrow right here, you should see all the graphics cards, graphics cards <laughs> or GPUs you have on your computer. Now, I only have a NVIDIA graphics card on mine, so for me, this isn't really a problem. But you most likely have a Intel graphics card and an NVIDIA graphics card. Or maybe AMD if you have that. So what you can do is, if you have the Intel graphics card right here, right click on the Intel graphics card and then click on disable device. Now do not do it on your Nvidia or AMD graphics card, it has to be the Intel one. I just don't have a Intel graphics card right here. But uh, select the Intel graphics card disable device and then it will most likely change the resolution of your uh, screen um, but that's not a problem at all it's just changing the resolution uh, so once you disabled it just pr press x start the game and it should be working now it should finally work and uh, that should be all to the uh, uh, has stopped working uh, error if or when you're done with the game just go back to device manager i'll just show you this again Go to display adapters and then just enable the intel graphics card again you don't have to but if you prefer that just do that so then you just always have to disable and enable the graphics card so that's it for this fix all right let's go to the next uh really common error which we see a lot and that is the motor fortress wall hub expansion build cost and you will see the error here on the screen if it looks like this, it's really simple to fix. So you're trying to play Rise of the Witch King on patch 202 and you've most likely enabled or you have, not most likely, you have patch 109 enabled for BFME2. And that is the problem because Rise of the Witch King only works or Rise of the Witch King patch 202 only works with either patch 106 or 1004 BFME2. So what I want you to do is to open the BFME2 patch switcher and if you don't have it for some weird reason, uh, the download link is in the description. So once you start it, whoop, the screen just disappeared, you should see this beautiful window. And now you have 109 selected, so now I just want you to select either 106 or 100 and that's it. Just select one of these two, exit and try to start the game and it should be working. And the same goes for BFME2. If you're playing B or want to play BFME2 patch 109, it is, and it's not working, it's because Rise of the Witch King is on patch 202. Um, so what you want, what, or what you have to do is to either uninstall patch 202 or just do it the easy way, open the patch 202 uh, uh, switcher. Yes. And then you should see this window. Here you will see uh, the main tab over here and here you just select 201, apply and boom, that's it. Now it should be working. And that's how you fix the Mortal Fortress Wallhub expansion build cost. So another error we see a lot and this actually goes for a mod is the Archer Vision side. And this error occurs when you try to run the Edain mod. Um, for Rise of the Witch King on patch 202. And that is a problem because Edain only runs on patch 201. So like I just showed you earlier, start the uh, patch 202 switcher, click on the main tab here, select patch 201, apply, and now the Edain mod should be working. And that's pretty much it. That's all for the Edain mod. All right, so now we uh, are going on to the next and the last error, which we're going to be showing you today. And that is the invalid sound uh, WOTR Music Rohan MS. And this error occurs when the patch switcher music is not set to minimal. 
And to fix this, you have to start the tier 2 patch switcher. <laughs> it's always the patch switcher. Really confusing. But let's sell. Uh, let's open it. Let's open it. It's not opening it. There you go. Okay. Yeah, fine. <laughs> All right. And here you see uh, the music modules. So what I want you to do is to select minimal music and then press apply. And boom, then you should be good to go, actually. All right, fellas, this is pretty much all the errors I uh, wanted, uh, or all the fixes for these errors that I wanted to show you today. Um, and these are some of the most common ones we see. If you still have any problems with the game, join my Discord server, link is down in the description, and then just hit us up in the hashtag support text channel or go in the awaiting support voice channel and somebody from the support team will hit you up or i will hit you up so yeah that's pretty much it i hope uh, that you were able to get your game fixed if not again join my discord server hit us up and we'll help you all the way through until the game finally works of course uh, it's really sad we have to tell you that some of you may have a computer that is not able to run the game at all. So there's really no way to fix that unless you're getting a new computer or a new GPU. Because often it is the GPU that is causing the error. So for some of you that has a, a laptop that isn't that good, you will probably not be able to actually play the game. But we'll still want to try and help you. So Johnny Discord server let us know and we'll help you right away as soon as we have time thank you so much for watching i hope this all worked out for you and i will see you next time adios amigos